Yo, what is up guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we've got another review on the Team of the Season Kieran Trippier SBC. We're going to go through the card, to stats, clips and summary, as well as the SBC requirements for you guys to get your hands on him. Before we get into all of that, if I could ask you guys to please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell so you know when I upload and comment down below what your thoughts are on this card and if you'll be doing it. And now, let's get into the video. So guys, this is a team that I used Kieran Trippier and I played him in that right back slot. I didn't actually move him to centre back guys, I didn't feel like he would fit well there for me. I tried him for a half actually and he didn't play well at all so I kept him in that right back slot from the start. And overall guys, my first impressions of this card, this card is a really solid card and um, I think he plays well as well. But let's just get into the review. Uh, Kieran Trippier, 5 foot 8, high medium work rate, it's right footed, 3 star skill moves, 4 star weak foot, 4 games played, 2 goals scored and no assists. Now guys, the first thing I want to bring your attention to is that 3 star skill moves, if that was 1 higher than for you skillers, that would be perfect, not great skill uh, for this card. Uh, 4 games played, 2 goals scored, he actually was really a good goal threat, especially from free kicks, from running down that wing, also great on set pieces, great for getting assists that way, even though he didn't get any from me this time, you can definitely see that potential in there with those set pieces. If I get into the player detail, I put an anchor on him. A shadow would do just as well. Unfortunately, I just wanted to try out how an anchor did on him, particularly because of one stat, which you'll see in the, in the physicality stats in just a second, which leads us into the stats themselves. The key pros of the card, this card has really good uh, defending and physicality stats. Not X elite defending and physicality stats. There are elements to this which are lacking, but I do feel like as far as defenders go, especially fullbacks, he's got a very good well-rounded skill set and then combine that with the fact that he's got good defending and physicality makes it a bit easier to use this card. Uh, his dribbling is pretty sound as well, guys. There is another factor in there which we will discuss uh, and his passing is pretty decent too. Overall, guys, uh, his crossing is fantastic as well, actually, guys, and his pace isn't half bad either. If we get into the cons of the card, guys, uh, I feel like his physicality does lack a little bit in the strength department uh, and, and in the aggression as well. I feel like boosting that does help that a little bit too. I feel like his defending stats are good. However, if you boost them up, they then become elite level. So I do feel like that would really help him out too. But the biggest thing that I did notice, guys, about this card is actually in his dribbling. Now, his pace isn't the best either. You could help that out a little more. But in terms of his dribbling, the combination of his agility, the dribbling, the balance, and the reactions really make this card feel quite clunky, uh, even though he isn't that big a player. So that's something to really pay attention to, guys, and something to think about when you're doing this SBC is that he doesn't feel the smoothest of players when you are using him. In terms of traits, he's got the long throw-in, solid player, and early crosser, so all great traits to have in what would be, ideally, I think, a wing-back for a lot of you guys. Um, and now that we've covered that, let's get into what the SBC requirements are for you guys to get your hands on him. So guys, getting into Kieran Trippier's SPC requirements, 162k on the PlayStation, 167 on the Xbox, and 179 on the PC. Now guys, this is comprised of two squads. Really, they should have just made it one. I don't really know what the point of this squad is here. Uh, the first, the last second one we'll go to first because it's the more important one, National Duty, one player from England, an 86 rated squad with an informed player. I feel like guys, if it had just been the one squad, that would have been plenty. I don't really see what this Atletico Madrid squad adds. An 81 rated squad is not going to cost anyone any problems. Uh, this is the one really you guys need to focus on. I think it's very well priced SBC. Again, I really just don't see the point of that first squad. Should have just left it. 140k would have been a brilliant sweet spot for this card. Really good value on this card as well. Gives people a lovely card to use as well. Considering he does have a lot of weak points too, I feel like that would have been the right price point. But again, not going to complain too much. And now that we've covered that, let's get into some of the clips that I got with him. So guys, getting to some of Kieran Trippier's clips, and what you guys are going to see is his general ability at that fullback slot and how well he did for me in that role as well. Now guys, I don't have a lot of clips with him. Uh, I did only play four games as I wanted to get this review up for you guys quickly, so we'll just quickly go through each of the stats that I think are important. The first one, of course, the pace. The pace is okay on this card. It's not particularly amazing, and he does feel a little slow, but I think that is more down to his dribbling than anything else. Um, I feel like if you give him the anchor chemistry style or the shadow, then he will feel faster of course but more importantly if you boost his dribbling you'll feel a bigger difference in my opinion i do feel like his defending stats and his physicality stats are very good as well um could use a general boost uh, but i think overall guys i think in general if you're going to look at boosting his dribbling and maybe his attacking side of his game if he's going to play more of a wing back role for you then his defending and physicality will do great um he is especially considering uh the wing back role where there will be less defending to do in terms of the technical side of the game guys the passing and the dribbling of this card the dribbling like we've mentioned is a little bit stiff now guys that is a bit of an issue because of course as a fullback you need some speed and quickness in there uh, i do feel like his clunkiness is mainly down to his agility uh, and with the right chemistry style you can remedy that as well maybe an artist would be a great way to go with this card 
it might be wasted because it's the only thing that you're really aiming at when you give someone an artist card but he does need that agility boost in my opinion just to make him that little bit faster in and around uh, tight areas and spaces where he needs to go uh, in terms of his shooting guys which is the last thing to cover his shooting is quite poor he did manage to score two goals for me but i wouldn't be recommending you rely on this heavily uh, better uh, creating chances with crossing which is absolutely phenomenal than to take those shots on himself because although he can score them which is a, a in retrospect a bit lucky because he really shouldn't be scoring them uh i wouldn't be relying on his shooting with that stuff we're just gonna have a look at the goals he scored for me now guys and in the second one here actually after a long run using the clunky dribbling as well so you guys can see his dribbling isn't too bad uh, but it still does need a helping hand just to get those finer quicker touches uh, and then this smash into the back of the net so guys, if we just get into this final Kieran Trippier summary, 161k on the or 162k on the PlayStation, 167 on the Xbox, and 180 on the PC. Now, guys, I think the key pros of this card, I actually think he's got very well-rounded skill set. His physicality is good, defending is good, dribbling is decent, a few cons there with that there. But otherwise, I think this and the passing, of course, is phenomenal too, particularly the crossing. I do feel like this is a really well-balanced card. If you were to ask me what chemistry I'd recommend, of course, the shadow will do a defender no harm, helps his pace, helps his defending out makes him elite in both of those and anchor also helps him out tremendously takes his physicality up and really that helps him bully those bigger wingers that you do need to get off the ball as well you could look another way with this card guys if you're going to play him as a wing back maybe a hunter would be the best way to go so he has better shooting but again his finishing only comes up to 64 and despite the fact he had two goals for me i really don't feel like he is a consistent finisher for me in that regard finally guys uh, again, I would just be looking across these chemistry styles just to see which one fits the best for you. Uh, I do feel like the agility and the balance could really be the undoing of this card at times, uh, just because his dribbling needs to be a little bit better. Uh, I do feel like a guardian would be decent, but it only affects his balance, doesn't really bring up his agility or his reactions either. So, guys, something to consider there as well is that the agility is an important factor in this card. The dribbling is really important, so you do need to consider how you want this to play uh, in terms of just as a fullback, yeah, or as a centre back as well as a centre back. I think it'd be fine as a fullback definitely does have an issue there with that agility in terms of similar players guys i look at this james tavernier and i look at this lars bender a cross between those two in terms of the having not quite as much dynamism as tavernier not quite as much size as lars bender of course somewhere in the middle of those two he is more of a stocky build he is a very good fullback guys please don't misunderstand me when i'm saying that he's missing a little element here and there this is a fantastic fullback but we are talking about team of the season cards here so i'm just judging on that level he is a very good card though nonetheless and i do feel like somewhere between those two is a fair point to put him in terms of the link ability no perfect links of course but strong links to a bunch of these atletico madrid players who have had special cards now Suarez and Oblak, Carrasco's in there, Llorente's in there as well. Um, you've also got other players such as English icons, Renan Lodi's storyline card, which will be available at the end of this season. Loads of linkability. Saul's, of course, uh, a card there for Saul, a strong link to that Saul card on that right hand side, too. In terms of the price comparison, guys, he currently sits. Now, I, I consider this James Tavernier a bit of an anomaly because he is in my opinion the best fullback to have been released on an SBC. uh this kieran trippier if we look at him compared to lars bender i feel like he isn't quite as good as lars bender lars bender has the size over him uh trippier whilst he doesn't have a slightly better technical edge to him he's not as good defensively i feel as lars because of that size and strength that he has so overall guys I would say that this card is actually sitting in the right price point. If you ask me how does he compare to this Ansaldi SBC that's below, I'd say he's better than him. Uh, if you ask me how does he compare to Conrad Limer, of course he's better than him. Uh, and how does he compare to Zanetti, for example, I think he plays uh, better than him as well. This Dest card more dynamic than him, this Mbabu card bigger and stronger. So actually guys, I feel like as a fullback, this Trippier sits in exactly the right spot, which leads me into my final recommendation about this card. And because there are so many of these special cards, like a Llorente, like a Saul, like uh, a Suarez. You can really link this card in so easily to your team uh, and then bridge across to somewhere like the Premier League or somewhere else like the SPL if you wanted to link into that in, into any of those other cards there like Tavernier. You can link these cards in uh, and this card really is one of those that's more of a bridge than anything else between these various leagues and I think the SBC is tremendous value for what you get uh, and he's a good fullback as well guys. So my recommendation is Complete it if he fits into your La Liga team or if you're planning on getting that Llorente or you have that Saul or you have that Suarez as well. Go out and grab this card. He does link in nicely and allows you to build into uh, some nice teams. 
Hope you guys did enjoy this review. If you did, please do smash that like button. Until next time, I will see you all in a bit.